What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video your girl is here to bring you my next video in my Must Have Must Gag series. This is my series I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have the community playlist and Samantha March's um, Will I Buy It series linked down below. I also always have all of the items that I discuss in this video listed and linked down below. Lastly I always have all of the Instagram pages that I follow to get all of this makeup knowledge down below. Um, this is another very very basic makeup look. I threw um, some shades together, just threw some makeup on. Honestly I haven't put makeup on in quite some time and this is just kind of what I want to do very very quickly. Also we're just not going to judge my hair. I'm really just going through a like discovery period and like I just don't think twist outs are for me or maybe I just don't do them right but like I just don't think they're for me. Anyways no judgment shall we but if you're interested in hearing about my opinions on indie makeup and how it would pertain or work on somebody of my complexion please stay tuned and i would love it if you guys would like and subscribe to my channel so yeah let's get to it all righty i'm gonna try and go this way this week last week i went the other way we'll see which way i like um and we'll go from there today i'm actually filming on saturday i'm actually filming very very late on saturday about 5 30. um it has been a long weekend um for me and a long week overall so just bear with me um and it looks like my phone is playing games let's see if i can get it to work all right so i just saw a couple of new things um been post posted on some of the social media that i follow so i'm just going to take my time and go through those and then let us for real for real get started so we have quite a few things i don't think i have any like makeup news to just start off with um so we're just gonna jump right into it so last week i talked to you guys about juvie's place and i said that they launched their bronze collection i told you guys that i was going to be picking up the bronzed palette in dark or maybe at that point i already have i actually have the bronzer on my face today um so i want to test this out a couple of times and then i'll give you guys a review and just because i'm already talking about the order i also did order one of their shade sticks in the shade zambia so i will be doing a review on both of those so don't you worry but literally a week later juvie's place decided to also come out with their blush collection so this collection let me find it because i actually was on the wrong photo um their blush collection first of all i feel some type of way where did it go i don't did i not tab it Okay, for some reason I can only find a photo of the eyeshadow palette. I'll find a photo with the eyeshadow palette and the blush duos. But basically they came out with this eyeshadow palette and two blush duos. The blush duos both um, present blushes that are matte and the eyeshadow palette has a combination of metallics and mattes as well. For me, I'm going to pass on the whole collection. Um, although I think the eyeshadow palette is cute and I think the curation is really, really nice, it's not something that I know I'm going to reach for. And I'm really trying to only buy what I know I'm going to reach for because right now I really have some things that are priority um, before makeup. So that is kind of where I'm at with that. And then the blush duos for me right now, I just am not allowing myself to pick up any matte blushes and really very very sparingly amount of um, powder blushes because I have quite a few powder blushes because for the first so many years of me really being into makeup that's the only um, type of blush that I used so I won't be picking up anything from this collection but Juvie's Place got me with this collection so they still got my money it's all good but I will say had Juvie's Place actually come out with their blush collection with this collection I probably would have fell in more with the hype and picked up one of the blush duos just to review the two different formulas um but i do already have a juvia's place um blush and i will say i really do enjoy that formula so unless they drastically change that formula i would say go ahead and get it in case you are interested in any of the duos and just to show you guys the size because i always am very fascinated on the size of products so this is the bronzer packaging and this is the duo so i have a iphone 10x max so that's kind of the comparison hopefully that 
is a good comparison um but yeah it's a pretty i will say this is a bigger palette than i was expecting and i'm not mad at it at all okay so let's keep going our darling has come out with a new palette and i think it's also a new brand as well and it's a victorian moral ritual palette um they also have some other products coming out with lashes and pins the actual palette is 30 dollars, and i pinned this because i thought it was very interesting that they're coming out with a cool toned color scheme very few brands are coming out with this color scheme right now and in case you're in another part of the world where this may be more relevant for you because maybe you're going into the winter season or maybe you just really love cool tones i just wanted to point it out for you it's not something for me i do like the two darker color Colorful shades but I have those in plenty other palettes Louis Vuitton is extending their makeup range um, so previously they only had lip products they had I believe liquid lipsticks maybe lip glosses and I know they had bullet lipsticks no just the liquid lipsticks and lip glosses I yeah I think so um, I never bought anything from the range at all and they're coming out now with blush trios and eyeshadow six pans okay so what was the brand that we talked about last week that i was annoyed ColourPop. ColourPop came out with those um face quads right and they came out with one that was darker complexion friendly but it, they only had those deep berry shades louis vuitton is doing the same thing granted their deep berry shades ain't as deep but still it just i i just i don't know i don't know i need to see like and even just seeing the swatches on i think this is on trend mood arm it just it doesn't look like the dark friendly one is really dark friendly i'm just gonna pass between the shades being boring the shades not looking deep enough and the price range being way out of my budget right now I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Amico Cosmetics is coming out with a Chemmec palette um, and it's a nine pan palette. I thought this was really, really pretty. I like the yellows. I like the greens. I like the blues. I like the color combination. I really do. Um, I feel like that just rhymed. Did that rhyme? Okay. So anyways, you can get this in both the pressed form or the loose form. If you get it in the pressed form, it's $56. The loose form, it's $67. I like that they give you that um, choice because some brands you can only get it one way and like not everybody wants it a specific way. So I really appreciate that. I like the packaging as well. Um, it's just not something that I feel I need right now. So I personally am just going to go ahead and pass on the collection lisa eldridge is coming out with two new products in her range typically every year lisa eldridge comes out with new lip products um once a year she doesn't revamp her product like once a year run for it like the bulls okay um i have oh i changed where my lip products are i think i have one or two of her bullet lipsticks and i like it it's cute it's nice it's actually very similar ish to what i have on today and in case you're wondering this is from becca it's from the bff collection that they did with like chloe and amika kamika i don't know these people's names like this it's not my life to know these people's names the shade is what the what, what the shade is the shade is hot tamale okay that that's 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 as good as you gonna get with me um Anyways, Lisa Eldridge, she's coming out with an elevated glow highlighter and she's also coming out with an enlivening blush. Okay, so the elevated highlighter, right? For me, this just sounds very reminiscent to what I have from Orc and their Glow Lust. I really do enjoy that. Once again, today I have that on. I actually decided to try and see if I can maximize the longevity of my makeup. So I only have that on the perimeter of my face and I have a different primer on the in inner part where I'm more oily um so I just don't think I need this um I also have some other products that I can use similarly to these products so I'm gonna pass on that and then 
the enlivening blush now this is let me read the description on this i very rarely do but let me read it today a light cream serum formula easily to easy to apply blend and build contains bilberry and raspberry seed oils and rosemary leaf extract aims to blur lift and tighten the skin in six shades first of all all right there, there's a lot to discuss in that description okay cream to serum i have found that serum anything on my complexion my complexion just eats it okay there, there's no pigmentation left it's just it's gone and i'm confuzzled okay so i'm very concerned about that okay then it says a light i don't need light i need pigmented okay pigment for the melanin so I don't know about that and then it says lifts and tightens the skin why would I want my blush to lift and tighten my skin like I just feel like that would be uncomfortable like can we discuss that can we just sit here and just stare at each other for like a good two minutes and discuss the fact that somebody actually is going to put this blush on their face and literally that one spot of your blood your face is going to tighten and lift I just Um, I'm not going to downplay. I'm prob. I promise you, these products are probably going to be bomb for certain people. I just don't think they've been bomb for me for various different reasons. Like I said, the, uh, those three kind of trigger words or phrases in that blush just does not make that seem like a perfect formula for me. Um, and then the highlighter, like I said, I already have a very similar product and I am trying this year and I've been doing really, really good to not overspend, to not like buy stuff when I can repurpose something that I already have. So I'm going to pass on that and save my money because I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. Yeah, it's $38 for the highlighter and it's $32. $34 for the blush. I, I just can't. Now, let's hope I still have that opinion when I see all the shades and the swatches because I'm sure she's going to swatch on somebody of my complexion. Okay, uh, next. Good Molecules is come to Ulta. This is very important for me personally because I have tried recently my very first Good Molecules product. It is their Hyaluronic serum and I do enjoy it but if you don't know hyaluronic acid or just serums in general especially if you have just a generic hyaluronic acid it is just going to suck the moisture out of the air and as well as keep as much moisture into your skin that's all it's going to do it's not going to help with um maybe um hyperpigmentation it's not going to really help with like um if you have a lot of acne and recently because i've been lazy and i think at one point i was wearing makeup quite often for me i had quite a bit of breaking out going on and so i think i want to get another serum from the range so that i can like concoct my perfect night serum um so this is going to be very, very interesting. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick up the overnight exfoliating treatment. I tend to really like those, like I said, just to get rid of any acne that I have going on and even some acne scarring. I don't really scar too badly like I do and then it'll generally just go away with time and for me that's fine. Um, even though I don't wear makeup every day, I'm not really pressed to constantly be covering up my face to kingdom come. So I think that's really what I wanna do. Oh, and I also want to try, they have a, um, a cleanser. I think this brand has like a uh, makeup yeah, an instant cleansing balm. I would like to try that after I'm done with my cleansing balm right now too. So I'm really interested in exploring this skincare range. I just enjoy sometimes just switching up my skincare um, regimen and my ranges and just to see what happens to my skin. Do I enjoy certain products? Do I feel like going back to certain products, etc. And especially because this brand is so easy for me to pick up because there is an Ulta relatively close to where I'm living right now. And also just the fact that I can always have the Ulta package delivered to my house or my peel box it just seems really warranted for me to extend this range more benefit is coming out with another product to celebrate hula's 25th or 20th anniversary and this is the hula glow shimmer powder bronzer so this is basically just taking their classic shade hula adding a slight sheen or radiance to it and bada bing bada boom this is a limited edition product in case you're wondering and i don't remember honestly how expensive the hula range is but this product specifically is 30 dollars 
Okay, can we talk? Okay, so I am not a huge fan of Benefit. I'm not gonna say I don't have any products. I do. I have the Hula Toasted. Is that the one for my complexion? Yeah, I have the Hula Toasted and I really do enjoy it. It took me a little while to like it and I actually depotted it out of that trashy packaging into a um, magnetic palette and I will be actually probably panning that whenever I can get through my e.l.f. bronzer when I stop buying more bronzers. Um, but anyways, I have I feel two types of ways about this release, right? One, I understand why they only chose that product. Like I understand because like at the same time, right? That's the only product that they had when they originally launched this range. But since you've already seen that all these people are enjoying the extended range, why not just launch a limited edition range of all of the shades? to celebrate Benefit's Hula's 20 or 25th anniversary. Like that is what I don't understand. Like these brands continue to pigeonhole themselves into only allowing certain people to buy from them. And I really don't understand. Like at the end of the day, right? This is a business. They want money. They want to make money. So why is it that they're not going to allow themselves to have an extended or bigger pool of potential customers by getting a um, a glimmer version of all of the shades. Had they released the glimmer version of Hula Toasted, I bet you my fool behind would be at Ulta right now picking it up. Okay? So just for me, I just, I just... I just don't get it. I don't get it. And it's fine. Like, honestly, I picked up one thing from Benefit in my years of buying makeup, so I'm not really pressed, but it's just like, you know, you could be helping a sister out a little bit more, okay? So, next let's go to Huda Booty, okay? Huda Booty is coming out with pocket-sized face palettes. She's coming out with three different shades, um, four colors in each shade, um, and this is a revitalized range from her previous face palettes right so she has a light medium and a re rich shade each technically kind of has very similar tones um except once again we go to the rich quad and there are three bronzes and one like ready pink why because somebody in my complexion can't wear an orange highlighter since I have one on now. Why can't we have an orange highlighter? Why can't we have a champagne highlighter? Like, I don't understand why brands truly think that somebody in my complexion can only wear bronze highlighter and burgundy blush. I really don't even be checking for my burgundy blushes. Like, those are the blushes. Do I have a burgundy? I, it's a pink blush. Like, I... I That's one thing. Two, the packaging is creepy, gaudy, and I have no time for. Three, why does Huda Beauty every three or so years realize that their formulations for previous products that were perfect are not perfect and then she relaunches them? Can you at least wait till people forget about the product? Like, I haven't forgot about any of her products before she decided to revamp them. I need her to sit down. She needs to sit down and just continue to move on to new and better things such as that brow product. A lot of people rave about it. I will probably never pick it up honestly, but like keep doing that. Don't don't keep going back. Move forward. Forward. Glam Light has shown that they're coming out with another palette. It is their red velvet cupcake palette. Um I haven't seen much updates. Oh, but I will say I did see that Glam Light is doing a flash sale for Mother's Day. There's a 30% off um flash for it, and the code is flash. I would I would buy something but I already spent my makeup budget <laughs> my makeup budget is very very small right now um, and you know we'll see how things rock this month but right now I just I don't have it in my budget to go over it and it's fine it is fine but anyways glam light like I said is coming out with this red velvet cupcake palette I'm interested I feel like they don't 
this would be a more curated collection which I'd be very excited to see from them because a lot of their palettes have been all over the place rainbows or whatever have you if this is something that I'm interested in I'm hoping there are not only reds but maybe some peaches and some pinks then I may pick it up and I would love like a metallic white not a metallic silver like a metallic white I would think that would be very very unique and interesting and I know I don't have that um, so it might entice more people to pick it up too so anyways very excited to see the inside of this palette um, and yeah Okay, Adept Cosmetics. So we have seen the full palette, both swatches and the actual palette in pans. So this is their Codeine palette. It is limited edition. The release date has not been given yet. The price is somewhere around $60. We haven't given been given a definitive price. Um, and yeah, so the palette originally features these two mattes, but you can choose to switch it out for any any different shimmer that is available on the website um i think that is an interesting choice i think that might get a little complicated but you know i i, I it ain't my business i just feel like what are they supposed to do say in like the when they're done checking out the palette like i want to switch these out for this like how are they supposed to indicate that they don't want the mats either way i actually like this color thing scheme i think it's really really nice but for me and I think I've said this quite a bit on my channel at this point. I am a mattes person, okay? I will go to get a all matte palette and then throw on a shimmer from somewhere before I take an all shimmer palette and use it. So for me, I think I am pretty much gonna pass. And even though, yes, there are those two mattes in the palette, it's not enough for me. I need more mattes. I need two, three, three, four two three four five that mats to throw in my crease have some fun with before I feel kind of content with the palette so I'm gonna go ahead and pass again but like I said I still am very intrigued by the brand um, and who knows maybe future in the future I will pick something else up Zara is coming out with their own beauty range I've never picked anything up from Zara honestly because their clothes are too expensive I am not that person that's gonna be spending like $30 on one thing article of clothing like it's not gonna happen my cart of clothes can be $30 but one shirt one pair of pants $30 yeah no um it's but and I mean it doesn't really make sense because I really don't buy clothes a lot like I really don't but I just refuse I refuse to do it so anyways I've never tried the brand before but it looks like they're coming out with like five different types of lip products quite a bit of different eye products they're coming out with nine bronzers nine blushes two highlighters three face palettes six bl brushes 96 nail polishes everybody is realizing right that the makeup industry is a very lucrative market and so they're taking advantage of it so i'm interested i'm interested that's kind of where i'm at um I don't know how good the shade range is going to be. I'm interested. We'll see what happens. Um, I'd need more information. And like I said, I've never shopped from Zara. And I probably will wait until after all the like bigger influencers that know they'll get views on their videos do videos. I want to see them swatching, them reviewing it, saying they like the products, they hate the products, whatever. And then maybe I'll pick it up. But just for me right now, like I said, everything going on with me. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vibe. I ain't gonna do it. Okay, so Sigma is coming out with a new collection. It is their Ambience collection. So they have an eyeshadow palette, um, which is like a nice warm tone bronzy situation. They have a six pan highlighter palette, two lip glosses, and a new brush set. Um, I have been interested in some of Sigma's eyeshadow palettes in the past. This one, not so much. Um, the highlighter palette, I honestly, I've realized that although I enjoy face palettes, specifically highlighter palettes really aren't my thing. I think for me to really get a lot of use out of a palette, it's preferable for the palette to have more than one product for my face. Even if it's like two blushes and one highlighter or two bronzers and one highlighter, that's just preferable for me. So 
with this product I just don't see myself getting any use out of that lip glosses I'm actually trying to pay on my lip glosses so no um and then the brushes honestly I want to actually go through my brush collection again and curate it even more there's some brushes that I just I, I don't touch such as as much as this Hakuhodo brush was it has a shape that I just never use now am I gonna get rid of it no because it's a Hakuhodo brush but like things like this that I never use like this dose of colors brush I used to use it when it was like one of my only brushes I have enough brushes now that I actually like better why do I still have it so for me just continue unofficially um, saying that I am not allowed to buy brushes this year and just really curate my collection beautifully because like I said this is the year I anticipate moving and I have a lot of stuff okay so there seems to be little little Yachi I'm I you know y'all <laughs> This type of stuff, I don't be knowing these people. Little Yachi, I think that's the child's name. I think, I think so. I don't really know. They are coming out with a limited edition nail paint collection um, with Crete. I've never heard of Crete. I've never used their formula before. Oh, Crete is the, Crete's the brand. Okay, so it drops on May 21st and you can get early access, but the shades are super basic for me um it's black white and gray of course the one time I talk about nail polish again in this video I literally have nothing on my nails I need to do that today this weekend has been crazy this week has been crazy um but this is not something that I am personally interested in um and honestly I'm confused by the packaging um but yeah kudos to them you know make your money get that coin I'm sure it's gonna sell out everybody's gonna want it but I don't know who they are um, I think they're a rapper or something like that I, I, I don't know who they are and I'm gonna keep my old behind over here in my corner and yeah M cosmetics they're coming out with moon beam cushion highlighters um, they are coming out with three different shades and these are supposed to be inspired by moon beams skin loving highlighter that you wear like a beam of moonlight glacier gracing your cheeks it's supposed to be ultra sheer multi -sh ultra sheer multi sheer it's either ultra sheer oh no look see see now they got me messing up it's either ultra sheer or not, like i what what's happening with this description here anyways there's a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of stuff they got three different shades um i appreciate that it gives you a decent shade range and like you can choose if you want that deeper bronzy shade or not um based on the fact that it's so sheer i'm assuming you really like even my complexion i could get away with like one of the other two shades if i wanted to but it's in a cushion and honestly for me right i had even worse um what's it called even worse luck with cushions than i've had with liquid products like serum products so i'm gonna sit in my corner and be happy with what i have i have quite a bit of liquid products there are quite a bit of liquid products that are on my list still mainly blushes but still i have quite a bit on my list and i am just going to be great urban decay urban decay you have one job and it is not to cock up this Prince collection. I promise you, if you do not mess it up, I will probably buy almost all of it. I love Prince. I love Prince, okay? Purple Rain, I have the DVD. I watch it, I listen to the album. I bought the whole album. Do not cock this up, Urban Decay, okay? It does not have to be complicated. I just need you to be true to Prince, okay? There needs to be eyeliner, there needs to be purple. I just if you could somehow add like some heels or something somehow in the packaging or in a name or something I mean a perm somewhere in there too I mean just just simple things like that maybe you even talk about the fact that he hated Morris Brown like come on y'all come on just give me little bits and pieces and you can get my money so this is supposed to be coming out i'm super excited it's coming out may 27th on their website i'm staying tuned it's called live loud in color that means 
that they're supposed to be color urban decay. I don't want another, or what is it? Vivid, vivid, uh, violet. What was their naked palette that was purple? I don't want that. I want color. Natasha Denono. Natasha Denono is going to hurt my, she's gonna hurt my heart. Okay, so the day after this post, this product is going to be available at sephora online oh no it's going to be available maybe on her website at this date and then sephora on the 26th no don't play me no we're gonna try and work through it we're gonna try and get through it so sephora on the 26th of may this is a bigger size to the zendo palette I like this palette guys I like it I like it a lot I like it a lot I like it a lot and if you did not see recently let's see if I can reach for it recently I'll have the palette or I'll have the video up in the cards I redistributed my vivid or what are the shades my bronze and my love palette I redistributed the shades because I just wanted to have some fun with them and I mean there's some more interesting matte shades that I do not have from Natasha Denona and although no I don't think and I know I should not want to have certain shades from all of my brands I do really enjoy these palettes both the formulation and all the different textures she usually has one or two cream to powder formulas and I really enjoy that formula so and like look at that one row that like zeal breath and zeal what mantra breath and zeal row like that row then you have balance relief and calm like those two rows are making it for me they're making it and breaking it and I'm probably gonna pick this up so I need to figure out where I'm gonna get this money from because this is gonna be what $65 yeah this is a $65 I have a Beautylish gift card is it 60 Beautylish every every time I want one of these palettes Beautylish comes in handy. I'm pretty sure I still have my Beautylish Gift card from their gift card event that they made semi-annual If that's true and if it's a $60 gift card that is where I'm gonna pick it up so I can save So much more money and I only have to front $5. Um, so yeah most definitely I am picking this up. I cannot wait for this. Yeah, it's available on Beautylish on the 28th so either way, I'm super excited. I That's when I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it through Beautylish. Nowhere else because then I only have to pay $5. So look forward to that. I'm going to be doing a three looks, one palette review. All of it. Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Mira Butte Co. So they are coming out with some new products. And they came out with some palettes that were um, inspired by different cultures and now they're coming out with a couple of different palettes. One is the House of Avaris collection. One is Lust and Greed. The other one is Envy Glitter Quad and there's a third one. Oh, okay, I see. So one is Lust Green and then Envy and Envy is the Glitter Quad. The other two don't have glitter in them. I think that they're all really nice. I appreciate that they took the glitter and did that separately. I really appreciate that. But these are not original or unique color schemes for me. So I am going to pass on all three products. Forever Mood is coming out with a new range. Jackie tends to bring out a new range of candles every season. And so I believe this is her, yeah, this is her spring range. She's coming out with four different candles. One is Bad and Boozy Candle. It has apple, jasmine, and oak mist. Then there's the Butterfly Effect Candle, which has rose velvet and sandalwood. Then you have the Cloud Dream Candle, which is strawberry, lachi, and vanilla bean. Then you have the Springs Spring Flings Candle, which is coconut, white peach, and musk. Okay, Jackie. Jackie, what I need you to do, sis, I need you to be able to let us get one of those big the so like she does her collections in different ways she does it where you can get a many of all four to sample it she also does it where you can get like the full size of all four i want her to do it option where you can get four full sizes 
but from different ranges because like I've been trying this like warm one from winter then I missed another collection before like I just need I need like two from every collection okay I really enjoy her scents like I told y'all in my last favorites which I need to get another favorites up for last month I burn my hand on this current candle but I am enjoying the smell um, and I have now one candle left in this quad that I picked up so I'm really excited and like I said those two so I'm really interested in the butterfly effect candle and the spring flings candle and I actually love the idea of butterfly effect because that's a really interesting phenomenon that I really enjoy learning about more and more so yeah anyways those are probably the two candles that I'm going to be picking up from that range and you know I'll probably still just buy it and then maybe she'll do something I don't know but I'm just I'm excited I love her range I love that she's doing something different even though she is a makeup youtuber so kudos to you Jackie and I will continue to support your brand Lethal Cosmetics is coming out with something new all we see are empty bare palettes we don't know anything I still have yet to try this brand I still want to try their face products they did recently release all the newer highlighter shades that were exclusive to their face palettes they did release those separately so in case you are waiting for those to be released separately you can get those separately um and i want they have like a yellow highlighter so i want that i want it so badly so i already want things from the brand the only reason why i'd never pulled the trigger is because during the holiday season they actually did not have a sale the sale wasn't what i wanted it to be so i'm still very much interested in the brand but like if I need a sale, I need a sale. Don't be giving me no $10 off or 10% off. No, Lethal Cosmetics was the brand that you had to play a game to get your discount. And I was like, I have no time. I'm too bougie for this. <laughs> so I ain't do it, but I'm still interested to see what they're coming out with. And maybe it'll be something that really pushes me over the edge. And then I can finally get some of their face products because I want at least two of their bronzers, you know, three or four day blushes and then some highlighters you know you know how it is I'll probably fill up a whole Z palette just of their products and try them out I've heard nothing but great things from the brand and I really want to go ahead and go in a new brand is releasing under the revolution beauty range I don't understand like everybody is suffering from COVID and it feels like revolution is just prospering okay what what happened okay revolution is coming out with a new brand and it is relove Re by revolution so this is going back to where they were seven they've only had their ranges for seven years good lord so um yeah everything ranges under six dollars which is actually very very nice i actually really appreciate that they're probably honestly going to make a killing off of this range because so many people can't afford to buy as much expensive makeup as they could before but it looks like they already have serum foundations they already have eyeshadow palettes they have highlighters they have brow products lip glosses lip balms primers contour palettes like it looks like they already have a full range typical revolution style you know maybe if this comes to Ulta I'll pick up one or two things um but I'm definitely not about to once again buy from the UK and have it sent to me the last time I did that I didn't like it oh it looks like they also have some blush duos in the corner of this photo some mascaras I see some liners so it looks like like I said they have a full range exciting but like I'm not gonna die over it okay Lurella Cosmetics is coming out with a new launch and this is their Night Thinker palette. I think this is a very very pretty palette. You have these nice light soft blues and then you have an interesting deep mauve in there. These are some really interesting colors. Nice variety. I like that there are a lot more mattes and there are shimmers. There are 10 shades overall in this palette. Six mattes, four shimmers. It's only $13 and it is available now. Honestly, I might pick this up. I'm very intrigued. I really like it. I like the color scheme. I want to go through physically my collection just to make sure I don't have anything that's similar. And if I do, I'll just pick her out and have some fun. But I am very excited, very intrigued. Um, the swatches don't look real. I'm not going to hold you up, but I, I'm just intrigued. So we'll see what it do, what it do. 
what to do what to do okay so half caked cosmetics or makeup i'm sorry they're coming out with the new little matte palette and this is all matte um the name is snack pack and you have some bright neutrals kind of with like some warm tone neutrals in there as well i think this is a really nice like spring to summer palette i think it's perfect for that range of the time period um so i think this is cute cheery bright all of that stuff but i am going to personally pass mac is also doing a collaboration with corella deville now i know angelica nyquist has already talked about the palette but i haven't seen the palette and honestly i can't be bothered to dig around to try and find it so we're just going to talk about what i see and the collection looks basic the packaging we'll see where it goes from there um but yeah i'm, I'm not too impressed so far but then again corella deville in um what 101 dalmatians and 100 dalmatians all that they were never like a favorite for me it was just something that i watched so we'll see if it becomes a favorite tarte is also coming out with a serum foundation so this it feels lightweight um it's skincare infused 32 shades uh, it's supposed to smooth your skin and there is a blending brush as well. Um, I think this is smart for them to come out with right now. Is this something that I want? No. Once again, I have a lot of foundation, a lot of foundation. I don't need any more. Um, I want to get through what I have and that's how the cookie crumbled. All right. So Victoria Beckham wants my money and sis might get it she is coming out with bronzer duos um and these are supposed to be smooth matte soft focus finished infused with natural oils and butters talk free and a long wear formula it is supposed to warm and define the skin to create a soft natural bronze with a subtle dimension um this honestly if oh lord i'm gonna drop something today it's gonna happen um that description reminds me of my baby right here which is my wayne goss bronzer duo in deep copper that they just sound very similar um and but i will say that her bronzer duo at least on the photo you look a little darker a little darker and especially that second of the two bronzers it looks nice i'm a fool for bronzer we know this i have like 10 bronzers that i need to review for you guys i'm a fool we know there's there's no discussions there's no questions i'm stupid i have a whole i think i have like over 50 bronzers now at this point like we get it we really do but am i gonna stop no because this is the one area that i will always be a savage in no matter what so i am very excited for this shimmer brick or this bronzer brick or whatever they want to call it the shade that i'd be getting is 05 and it is a deep amber duo for deep to rich tones which a girl is deep okay she's deep oh the sun is really playing with me mm. that's what happens with natural lighting um so i'm excited i've never tried the brand oh and it comes out of the pack okay I see you they have a darker they have two dark complected models okay I'm, I'm I'm excited let me know let me know if you tried the brand and you really highly recommend them let me know please I've never tried the brand I've heard great things especially from what is her name Laura Hawcroft I believe that's her name she really enjoys the brand so let your girl know dose of colors is collaborating with Nima Tang and I'm really happy to hear this Nima Tang is a really really beautiful great um dark skin makeup youtuber um i really love her and support her i have i think still her mac collaboration and now she's doing stuff with dose of colors so she's coming out with a brown collection and like a warm orangey collection i will say i'm really intrigued with that orange I have no business being interested in it but i'm actually very interested oh she calls it coral okay well i'm interested in the coral set annoyingly interested in it actually this launches on the 12th at 8 p.m 8 a.m pst i know i'm not gonna rush to get this on the first launch so y'all can have it and if i don't get it later that's fine with me i'm not gonna press it but i am interested in that 
range. I have way too many browns. I don't need any more browns and nothing about this brown range looks unique. But I will say I still don't feel like I have found my perfect like corally orange. Like even this, I think it's cute, but I don't think it's perfect. So have I justified this enough for you all and myself? I don't need it. So we, we're not going to rush to get it. We'll see if it's still available when I have some money. Hip Dot is not slowing down for anybody. Hip Dot is the new ColourPop and they only do collaborations. Okay, she is collaborating with Clueless. And this brings back some interesting memories. I remember watching this movie and Loki being grossed out because if you have not watched Clueless, I need you to fast forward a little bit. I don't know how you haven't watched it, but just fast forward a little bit. How's this gonna go and hook up with her stepbrother? ex stepbrother whatever like it just that just always rubbed me a little wrongly if you know what I mean but I still love the movie you know sis was still fire okay fire um so yeah anyways I thought it was really interesting that they did this collaboration the packaging is gaudy but it's perfect like it, it's very reminiscent I love the cell phone packaging for the face palette because that's what cell phones were like back then um I really like everything the aesthetic like they went for it they said they were gonna do it and they went for it but this is just not something that I'm gonna pick up between the packaging like that packaging alone is bound to get dirty and gross very quickly and the color scheme is not something that I'm dying for the lip products I don't need any more lip products and those brought those face products I know aren't gonna work for me so I'm gonna pass Cleone Cosmetics is doing a collaboration with Emily Violet Marie. This is interesting. So at one point I was following her on Instagram, I, or not Instagram, on um, YouTube. I'm still following her on Instagram. I don't know what happened. Did she stop posting? Did I stop following her? I don't know. I think maybe I accidentally stopped following her. Either way, it's interesting that she's doing a collaboration with them. Um, and yeah. I'm intrigued to see where this is gonna go. Um, I know she is a lover, I mean lover of pink tones. So it's, I mean, this is bound to be pinky all the way. Um, and yeah, I'm excited, interested, and that's how the cookie crumbled on that one. All right, only a couple more, only two more to talk about today. So it's Belle Cosmetics. It's already showing sneak peeks once again of their next palette, and this looks to be a fully textured like shimmer multi-chrome palette again um, once again I know I'm just gonna end up passing on that it's just not something that I reach for and once again like I said last week if I want to reach for that this is just gonna reach for this palette because I've already spent my money and I want to get my use out of it so that's how that cookie crumbled um, and then lastly glam vice cosmetics is coming out with something new this month we don't really know what it is, but we've seen swatches and the swatch looks beautiful. So I'm intrigued to see what is coming out. So yeah, this week is not going to be too bad on my wallet. Like, like I said, I already spent my money. Like my makeup budget literally went to the new Caladios palette. It went straight to that palette because that palette itself was what, $36, something like that. Then the shipping was like $10. That's 40 some odd dollars. My makeup budget is gone. It's gone. So I don't really have any money. So we are gonna see how much I make from my side hustle and that will determine how much I make buy of other things. Um, if I do that, cause you know, debt comes first cause that is my goal this year being debt free. But we, we gonna get off a tangent. Not much to really tempt me, but still some pretty cute things. I would love to hear if there's anything that is tempting you guys this week or if there's anything that I missed and you want to talk to me about, let your girl know down below. Like I said in the beginning, I would love it if you guys would like and subscribe to my channel if you love my personality, my content, all that jazz. I tend to do these videos once a week and I always love talking about Project Pan videos. I don't know makeup palettes bronzers anything under the sun really who, who are we kidding but that being said that's all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all i hope your foundation matches your neck and i will see you guys in my next video check out down below i have information about some real world issues that i think you will enjoy and yeah for all this time bye guys